This is Module 4, Lesson 15. In this lesson, we'll be classifying quadrilaterals based on parallel or perpendicular sides and angle measurement. We're going to be using our right angle template, as we've done in the past, to help us draw parallel lines. And we're going to be drawing quadrilaterals. Quad means four. And lateral means side. So we're going to be drawing four sided figures. So let's start by drawing a straight line with our ruler. And we're going to use our right angle template to line up with the first line so that when we draw the second line, we know that it will be parallel to the first one. Then we're going to draw an additional line that's going to cross the first two. And finally, our fourth line to complete our fourth side. And so we have a shape here that has one set of parallel lines. And remember we mark those as with little arrows to show that these two sides are parallel. The other two sides are not parallel. So a four-sided figure with one set of parallel lines is called a trapezoid. Okay, we're going to move on and draw another shape, starting with, again, a straight line using our ruler to draw it. And we're going to use our template again to make a parallel line. And then once again, we're going to draw another line. But this time, we're going to use our template to line up with the second line so that we can draw a fourth line that's also parallel. So here we have one set of parallel lines and then a second set of parallel lines that we're going to mark with two arrows to show that that's the second set. So here we have two sets of parallel lines. And, and this, as the name implies, is a parallelogram. When we have a four-sided figure with two sets of parallel lines, we have a parallelogram. Okay, moving on, we're going to draw another shape, another quadrilateral, starting again with a straight line. We'll use our
right angle template again to draw a second line. Now this time, what we're going to do is we're going to leave our template there and we're going to use it to draw a third line that is parallel but also forms a right angle. And our fourth line again will be parallel but will form a right angle. So this shape has two sets of parallel lines. And four right angles. And we know this shape, this is a rectangle. Now our final shape again is going to start with a line and we're going to use our template to draw an additional line parallel to the first one and we're also going to make this one a right angle as we did with the rectangle but this time our fourth line is going to be the same size the same length as the others that we've drawn so what we have here is two sets of parallel lines of the same length and four right angles. And we know this shape as a square. Now, these are all quadrilaterals, and a square is also a rectangle, a parallel, and a trapezoid. It's a special kind of a rectangle because it does have two sets of parallel sides and four right angles, but it additionally has the sides being the same length. A triangle, a rectangle, is also a parallelogram because it does have two sets of parallel sides, but it has the special case of four right angles. So each of these shapes can also be an additional shape, but with a special qualification that makes it that particular shape. And all four of these are considered quadri quadrilaterals. Let's use this to solve some problems in our problem sets. So the first one says construct a figure with the given attributes, name the shape you created, be as specific as possible, and use extra paper as needed. So stop the video and try number one. Okay, so for number one, we have a quadrilateral, so that tells us that we need a four-sided shape and at least one set of parallel sides. So again, using your straight edge or ruler, you're gonna, and your 
right angle template, you're going to draw a set of parallel lines. And then the other two lines can be anything you want as long as it's a closed shape with four sides. And so this shape would be called a trapezoid. Okay, pause the video and try number two. Okay, a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. So this would be one set. And the second set would also have to be parallel. And this would be a parallelogram. Okay, moving on, pause the video and try number three. Okay, for this one, we have two sets of parallel sides, but we also have right angles at the corners. So we have parallel sides, but we also have four right angles, and this would be a rectangle. So that's a special case of a parallelogram with four right angles is a rectangle. And stop the video and try number four. So this one, we have a rectangle, which we know means two sets of parallel sides and four right angles, but all four sides are the same length. So this would be a square. Okay, moving on. For number five, you're going to match the name of the shape with its specific shape. So pause the video and try A, B, C, and D. Okay, for A, we look and we see we have marks here that show these pair of sides are parallel. That's all we have is one set of parallel sides, so this would be a trapezoid. For B, we see we have one set of parallel sides and a second set of parallel sides. So two sets of parallel sides makes this a parallelogram. In shape C, we have four sides all of the same length and square corners or right angle corners. This makes this a square. And finally, we have Opposite sides parallel and four right angles. That makes this a rectangle. Okay, pause the video and try number six. Okay, the attribute that makes a square a special rectangle is all sides are the same length. Try number seven. Uh, a rectangle, in addition to the set of parallel sides, has four right angles. And stop the video and try number eight. What makes a parallelogram a special trapezoid is uh, a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. And that concludes lesson 15.